YouTube, what's up? It's Jacob. Welcome to 911%. Today we're going to be doing a install of the FD Motorsports all-wheel drive transmission mount. This is a new piece from them. They are also working on a two-wheel drive version as well. The all-wheel drive was released first. This is going to be a beautiful mod that will accompany the FD Motorsports golden rod that I've got installed on the car already, uh, as well as the 993 RS short shifter kit. So the three of those pieces I think combined will really nicely tighten up the, the shifting. So I'm super stoked to get it in there and uh, let's get started. So up first we're gonna raise the car with the lift but before I do that I am going to raise the rear of the car using just a regular pump jack and I want to drop four of the screws that are holding the plastic transmission pan to the car on either side and that is just in my case specifically because the lift I'm using the rubber shoes that hold the car actually touch the plastic transmission pan. All right guys, so I'm ready to just put the car up on the lift. This is the reason again why I needed to uh, remove those bolts from the underbelly pan because these rubber guys need to clear this. Otherwise it kind of sandwiches it together. All right guys, so now that we got the car up in the air, this is basically the transmission mount that I'm gonna be replacing. So you can see this is my original to the car trans mount. It's probably like 18 years old now. So I'm gonna be replacing it with this FD Motorsports piece. But before we do that, let's get rid of these fasteners that hold the plastic transmission cover. Um, we're gonna need to remove that. got the plastic transmission cover off this is what it looks like off the car and basically it uh, hooks up with four plastic fasteners this also slides right into your transmission tunnel right here so that slides in there these are the four plastic fasteners and then there's a total of six Phillips head screws that hold them on either side and it's really self-explanatory. Alright guys so we're pretty much ready to roll. The only thing I'm going to do before supporting the transmission is I'm going to put some uh, three-in-one penetrating oil on these nuts and then also on this main bolt just so that that's all oiled up before we get going. Alright guys so up next we're going to support the transmission. I'm going to be using this floor jack here along with these random pieces of wood. I know it's not the most ideal setup but it'll it'll do for for my needs. You could easily pick up a transmission stand from a Harbor Freight or Pet Boys or Princess Auto or whatever and uh, basically what you want to do is support the transmission somewhere around here just so it takes the weight off of that cross brace that we're going to be loosening back there before we tackle the actual transmission mount. So that's the plan, let's do it. And here's what the transmission support will look like. It'll do the job. So now I'm gonna take a 17 mil socket and loosen these six bolts here that hold the transmission mount bracket to the car. I'm just looking to loosen these just so that there's some possible play just in case I have to readjust anything upon reassembly. So just gonna back them out a little bit. So now that we've got these loose, I'm going to remove these three nuts from the transmission mount. And then after I've got those three off, I'm going to tackle the main center bolt.
All right guys, so I've got the nuts off of the studs, you can see up there, and then also I've got the main bolt out. So now I'm going to wiggle out this old transmission mount just to get it out of the way. But I've also noticed that even though I loosen to this main cross section, I actually have to drop the bolts a little bit more just to be able to create clearance for that mount to come out. It's really, really tight in there. So that's the plan. Guys, so I just wanted to show you how much I had to back out this cross member with the six bolts. So you can see in order to create enough clearance to drop the mount out of here. So now up next we're going to remove these studs. So the only way to get rid of that is with a specific tool, which I do not have, or um, you can use the double nut method. So you screw on two nuts, you're going to be able to get a grip on it. So I'm also going to spray a little bit of three-in-one lubricating oil in there just to make sure it comes out nice and easy. All right guys, so the mount's out along with the studs, so it's all ready to go for the FD piece. Let's get to it. Here is the difference between the FD piece and the stock transmission mount. Guys, okay, so I'm just test fitting the new mount. So the transmission mount is in, everything is torqued to spec, and also the bottom carrier has also been torqued to spec. I didn't notice any slop in my old transmission, so everything bolted up pretty much the same way. I mean, there's nothing really to report, it all just nicely came back together. So the only thing left to do is to get rid of my ridiculous uh, transmission prop that I was using. Alright guys, so there it is, completed and installed. So the only thing that's left to do is to install the big plastic transmission mount cover that will cover this up. But otherwise the mount is in and it looks sweet. I love that green color under there. Especially with the clean undercarriage, it looks just so badass. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, on how to install this FD Motorsports all-wheel drive transmission mount. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Take care.